Did you ever go to a carnival and try to toss ping pong balls into a goldfish bowl to win the fish? My mother was always thrilled when I came home with my plastic bag of temporary pets. Well, today those ping pong balls have evolved. They've grown up, but now you don't win the fish, you win the water. Here's Adam Yamaguchi to explain. Earth scientists estimate that by 2025, the world will be in crisis due to a shortage of our most precious resource, water. The challenge is not just acquiring clean drinkable water, it's also to save it for the future. Hydrologists estimate that for every acre of uncovered water surface, two million gallons are lost to evaporation. Luckily, one woman has worked eight years toward a solution, and it turned into this. Ninety-six million black balls covering a reservoir north of Los Angeles. I traveled to drought-stricken Lake Elsinore in Southern California to meet Sydney Chase, one of the innovators of the water-saving shade ball. The shade ball is a four-inch sphere utilized in consort with millions of others to float on top of a reservoir to avoid evaporation and help mitigate algae. The shade ball idea has been around for over 20 years, but they haven't been tried in large-scale applications, such as a reservoir, until 2013. Sydney explains some of her key innovations to the ball. Now, what exactly are these made of? These are made of high-density polyethylene and carbon black. And what am I feeling inside here? You are feeling potable water. <laughs> Why is there water in here? Seems counterintuitive. It does indeed. If you think a little bit about a ship and how they use ballast on top of water to perfect a certain balance, that's exactly what the theory behind this is. Ballast is a weighted material, such as water, and it's used on things like a sailboat to counteract the wind's force on a sail. And secondarily, if anything were to happen to the ball for any reason, what would be pouring into the reservoir would be potable water. Is there any danger that any chemicals or, or the breakdown of plastic would impact the quality and the safety of the water? No, and that's why we choose the plastics that we do. High-density polyethylene is a tried and true workhorse used for many, many decades. It's a very strong and durable plastic. Carbon black is a natural filter. It absorbs and dissipates heat very rapidly. These balls are not under any strain in the water other than expansion and contraction. And that expansion and contraction will directly affect the seal of the ball. And that was Sydney's key innovation, designing a seal that didn't crack or break open over time which led to the manufacturing of 96 million shade balls to enswath 200 acres of water for the LA Reservoir Project. With a goal to save 310 million gallons of water, the Sydney can't possibly make enough shade balls to cover all the world's reservoirs, but she has a big idea for that too. We're calling to different manufacturers around the world, in particular bottlers, to convert their materials to high density polyethylene and to color the bottle black and to then take these bottles and recycle them to make floats, where these bottles, instead of becoming trash, start saving billions, trillions of gallons of water. The scope of Sydney's concept seems daunting, but it just might be feasible to save the world's water supply, one ball and one bottle at a time.